Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can erase the background from a picture, save it as a transparent image so you can add it into anything in the future without ever having, having to erase that background again or go through that tedious process by using all free stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go to pickmonkey.com and I usually just go to design. If you're wanting to do a Facebook cover, you can do that, um, but I just for the first part, we'll just go to uh, the little square. And it's important that you click on transparent canvas here. You want this as the background and click apply. Then what you're gonna do is go to overlays with the little butterfly. And what you'll find is up here at the top, it says your own. And you'll click the drop down and go to my computer and select an image. So I'm going to select this image. And you want to make it pretty big so that you can see the details here um, and it's easier for you to erase and then we'll you know, drop it down to size later if we need to. So the first thing you want to do is click on the eraser. And for the first part, I always like to have it a little bit bigger and the hardness pretty high um, on the first parts that you're deleting because you want to make sure that that background is really deleted around you because I'll show you um, Whenever you add this to like canva.com, if you don't use a really hard, sharp uh, brush, what ends up happening is if you want to change the color of this image in the future on Canva while you're in that um, application without going back and saving all this again and doing it and changing myself to black and white, um, if you don't erase this really good on the outside, that ends up showing up in those images. So we don't want to do that, and I have done that. so. Well, I'm telling you don't do that. <laughs> so you pretty much get all of the big stuff out of the way and now what I'll do is go down to your eraser hardness of anywhere from 15 to 25 I think is pretty good. I'm gonna stick right around 19 and then what I'll do is zoom in here down on the lower right you can click that and zoom in. Now I want to make this brush smaller. There we go. And what this does is it kind of creates a little softening or halo around um, the hair or your body or your skin, um, face. So then that way it doesn't feel like you're, um, you know, whenever you add it in, it's really sharp or hard around the edges to whatever image you add it into. So you'll kind of have like a soft glow around the edges. I love Pick Monkey. Um, I've used it for almost everything um, and it's really good in combination with Canva which I'm going to show you here in a second what you can do with Canva. PicMonkey is good for stuff like this and you know making quick posts um, but I really 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 like Canva I just spend too much time on it <laughs> because Canva has a lot more options um, but you cannot erase the background in Canva that I know of I haven't found that option yet I don't think it's on there Okay, and just make sure you're just kind of zooming in on these areas. Um, I'm not going to make this perfect because it's just for this tutorial. And if you erase some of the skin, that's okay. We can actually add that back in if we want to later. Um, since my background's a little dark there, I don't care to erase the skin a little bit to get rid of that, um, that dark background so that doesn't blend in if I have a lighter background. You want to make sure when you're doing these, um, sometimes you know, you'll do these and feel like um, there's too much going on in the background. If you have a really dark, dark, dark background, you're not going to want to save this image and try to add it to a light background or everything's going to show up. Um, if you add it to a darker image, you're not going to see the, you know, the edges because this isn't perfect. It's, you know, the, this is a free application. It's not Photoshop. Um, but in all honesty, sometimes I feel like this works better than Photoshop. Okay, so pretty much got that out of the way. Um, I'm just going to even out the shoulder area here so it just looks straight. Um, and you can see I accidentally erased some of my arm. So you can just add that in by clicking the paintbrush over here. And then same thing on the other side. I'm just going to jump over here because I know I deleted some of my shoulder.
I don't want to add too much back in because I don't want it to um, get the background. So I can kind of see where it started to get the background, so I just stopped a little bit. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to delete a little bit more down here. There we go. Okay, so whenever you go to save this, what you're going to want to do is save it as a PNG file. You cannot save this as a JPEG or anything else or it's not going to show up as transparent um, in any other application or in PicMonkey when you try to upload this later. Okay, so what I will do here is click Save and name it. And make sure it's PNG and save to my computer. Save that to my desktop. And if you want to, you know, reopen something and pick monkey all you, and, and add it in here, all you need to do, um, I'll just kind of start back over here. If you just want to stay in all one application, and I'll go to design square. Actually, I'll kind of do a um, try to do a Facebook cover because a lot of people like to know how to do that. So you'll go to Facebook cover here. And you'll want to add in a background. So you can go ahead and like save a background if you have one in mind. Um, they have some textures here that you can do. Um, you know, you've got clouds and things like that. Those are royal features, which means you have to have a paid account. I do have a paid account. Um, in all honesty, I, you know, what I would do is just Google an image that you want. And I already did that. So I'm going to go to the butterfly and add in that image. If you type in HD image, with whatever you're looking for, like I typed in HD wood background. <laughs> it's not perfect. Um, I, I found this really quickly, but you could probably find, you know, a better image if you wanted one. And, you know, you can change this color too, which is super cool um, on whatever you add in. So keep that in mind as well. So say let's, you know, I wanted purple. <laughs> kind of looks strange, but hey, we're going to go with it. And then um, you're going to go back in here and then just add your picture. So voila. And so, you know, I didn't add it into a background where it's really white, so you can't really tell um, that I even erased the image through PicMonkey. It looks like we did it in Photoshop. Now, if you see some areas that are bugging you, again, you can go in there and erase. It's not going to erase um, the background of the background you added, like the wood is going to stay, but the image that I just added will be erased. So you can do that kind of all in one uh, step here on PicMonkey, and you can see I did that fairly quickly. And now that I've saved this image, I know that I can always go back in here and save that. And so since I know my profile picture is on the left, I can put this over here. And I can still, you know, change this to a different color. I like that blue color, so we'll do that. And then let's say I wanted to add some words. So all you're going to do is go in here to the text and um, pick some words to add. I like to have a, like, a box to put the words in so that it looks pretty natural, you know, different. Um, so let's just scroll down here. The easiest way to do it is probably just one of these boxes. So I'll just show you how to do that. If you want to, there's a little trick in PicMonkey. Um, you know, the, the little geometric boxes, you can make wide like this. But for example, if you go down to labels or banners, so these are basic here, these basic, these are all free options. So let's say I wanted to add um, this one in. So with these, you can see there's like, you can only make it so big, you can't make it wider, but you actually can. If you click shift, you can now make it wider. So that's a little trick on PicMonkey. Um, so now that I've clicked shift, I can do that. If you don't click shift, it will not let you make that adjustment. So let's say I want this to be kind of a pinkish color. Let's see here. I like that, and I'm going to fade it a little bit. Then here's something to make, you know, these stand out a little bit more. What I'm going to do is duplicate the overlay and make it a different color. So let's say I want it to be that blue color of my shirt or the background. You can actually click this little dial dropper, this little dropper here, and click on a color that you want. So I kind of like 
Let's see, it can make it my shirt color, it can be my hair color. Let's see, let's, I'll make it this blue color. Um, so that's a little trick there. And you're gonna put it right over the top and just make it a little smaller. So when you do that, um, it kind of adds a little flair to it and you can fade that. There you go. So you've got that and then now I'm going to add in some wording. And I like, um, I like all of these really, but I really like this one, I use it a lot. And then you'll just add your word, wording in here and um, show you here. All right, and again, you can um, make that bigger, smaller, fade it, lots of different options in PicMonkey. Um, you can add more overlays, you can go in here. I like to, um, for a lot of posts, I like to add the stars or pictures. You know, here's the little sparkle stars. A lot of people like to use those. I think they're good little things to add in here. Just makes it different, um, but I don't like that it, sometimes keeps the little stars hanging out over here too. So what I'll do is just go to eraser and I'll just erase the stars. So then it just makes that little one part sparkle. And instead of having to do that again, all you have to do is right click, duplicate. So now I have some more stars to add. We'll put right here. All right, so we've got that um, option there in PicMonkey to make some cool stuff. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was Canva. I love Canva. Um, I've been using it a lot lately. And when you go into Canva, you can pick Facebook cover. And they have lots and lots of different backgrounds to choose from, like really cool backgrounds. So you can basically do the same thing that we just did and, you know, add your picture to it. So you can make find a really cool background. So say you like this. And um, what you can do is add your background to it. Now, the ones that have the crosses through it, they are paid for. Uh, so if you don't want to pay for something, you can go in here and uh, to the backgrounds and find one of these that you don't need to pay for. Um, when you pay for these, they're just a dollar. I've paid for one once because I really liked it. And even though it says you can only use it um, once with the um, with that specific picture, you can really use it more than once um, by just saving that picture. And I probably shouldn't tell you guys that, but <laughs> you can do that. So say I really like this background. Um, what I can do is purchase it for a dollar. And, you know, in all honesty, I think, you know, purchasing these for a dollar is really not that bad. Um, considering that I'm going to go to home because somehow that got, there we go. Um, but yeah, I, I think that the paying for a dollar for them is not bad if you really like it and you're going to reuse it a lot. Um, but honestly, this is what you can do. You can say you found something you like, like I like the HD teal wood background. So I'm, I'm typing in HD because I know that if I do HD, it's going to be a better picture. So I can click on this and you know, save these. You want to try to find one that doesn't have the um, stuff on it. That's kind of cool. Mm. Let's do this one. Actually, you know, I think I have one saved in there already. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's the wood background that I like. And we'll just do that. And again, you can change the color in these too. So if you wanted to add some different coloring to this background, um, you can do that if you really wanted to. So you can see that. Um, anyway, let me get out of there, take it back to normal. And I'll go to the uploads and I will upload that image. I already uploaded it here, but I'll kind of show you how to do this again um, so that you know. And then you'll just drag it in here. And then I, again, I will flip this horizontally because I know that my profile picture is on the other side. And you can't even tell that I really deleted the background using something like PicMonkey. And the reason I was telling you about making sure the hardness on the outside is really good because if you want to go in here 
and change this to black and white. See how it kind of does that around the edges? Um, I guess it's, you know, it's never going to be perfect, but because it does like the whole image, but it looks better if you can try to find, delete the background really, really good. Um, but it's always best if you can just keep it as normal and edit the picture in PicMonkey if you really want to add anything else. So there you go. Um, and if you want to add text in Canva, again, Canva is awesome because you can just click here and easily change the colors. So you can go in here and say I wanted it to be white and I want this one to be kind of a teal blue color. We'll just do that. And then you can change the type of um, coloring here. It's kind of a light, light blue. So then you can do that. And, um, you know, we can, it automatically changes the size based on whatever you decide uh, to add in there. However many words. So there you go. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. This is probably the easiest way to do these. Um, I really, really like Canva and PicMonkey, but, you know, if you want to stay all in one spot, PicMonkey is really easy. And also, if you were going to, you know, add this picture into a blog post, so say this was a bigger image and I was putting it on my website, you can actually click on this image. Like, say this was a call to action button. Let me delete this and I'll show you. So let's say this was a call to action. I'm gonna click on buttons here. And our, let's just do this. Say I wanted them to find me on Facebook. I can click here, link, and put my Facebook here, my website. Um, you know, you can do the same for someone purchasing a challenge pack. Say you, you know, you're posting a call out for them to post or purchase a challenge pack. You can add the button and go up into, let's say, um, buy. And again, all you have to do is link it. And you can put your challenge pack link there. That is if you have a blog post and you want to have, like, say you, you post the blog and you wanted to add a picture where they can easily just click on that, and now they're purchasing. All right, so I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, there's a lot of cool tips and tricks that keep coming out, and I'll try to keep you updated on those. Bye, guys.